Welcome back to 10.3 slope intercept form. So in this video, I'm going to officially introduce our slope intercept form. So what is so-called the slope intercept form is the form where it says y equals mx plus b, where x and y are your variable, m representing your slope, and the b representing the y value of the y intercept. So as you can recall, if we go back to module 10.2 real quick, when it comes to the y intercept, okay, y intercept means find the y value when the x is zero. So this number, this term right here representing the y value of the y intercept because the x value is zero. All right. So um, if we go back to 10.2 again, some of these um, slope intercept form I mentioned before, remember the y equal to negative x? So y equals mx plus b. So that tells you x matching with x. So m is negative 1. So this one's slope representing negative 1. So remember the two points we plotted? 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2. So this slope is negative. So that's why my line is going down the hill. All right. So to go from 1, negative 1 to 2, negative 2, all I have to do is go down 1 to the right 1. Okay, that's why my slope, negative 1, represent down 1 to the right 1. All right, so there were a couple other ones that were slope-intercept form, like this one. So this one is actually written as y equals, uh, they put the mx term on the back side. So this negative 2x is actually the mx term. So slope is negative 2. That's why my line going down the hill. The b here is 3. So that tell you that, so that basically saying when the B is 3, then the Y intercept, the Y value of the Y intercept is that 3. The X value is 0. That's why one of the points we plotted was 0, 3, which is the Y intercept. Okay? And that was this one right here. Remember, the, see the 0, 5 right here? All right, 0, 5 is actually your Y intercept because the Y value, the B part, the y value of the y intercept is 5, so the x is 0. So that's why y intercept, that's the reason why I use a 0 for x, so I can actually come up with a y intercept for this equation of the line. All right, the slope, the m part is 2 thirds, that's the reason why the slope is positive going up the hill. Okay, so to go from one point to the next point, we can just go up 2 to the right 3. Okay. Oh, I wrote down wrong right here. I just noticed it wasn't three one seven. It was 3, 7, right? Oh, no wonder. This graph looked a little bit weird. Oh, glad I came back to it. So 0, 5 right here, 3, 7. To the right, 3 up 7. That will be about right here. So how do you go from how do you go from one point to the next point? Up 2 to the right, 3. I do apologize. I draw it wrong. All righty. Let me save that real quick. So now, if we have an equation is written in standard form, then to write it in the slope-intercept form, we got to solve for y. All right. So, for example, write the following equation in slope-intercept form. I'm going to show you this real quick. Um... This is actually something real, real good, um, real good thing to check when it comes to module 11. All right, I got three terms right here. I know I got to solve for y to write them in slope intercept form. But if you look at the coefficient, the constant term, negative 2, 2, negative 16 is divisible by 2. So if I divide every term by 2, my equation should say negative x plus y equal to negative 8. Now, not every time we can do this, but when we can, go ahead and simplify the coefficients. Okay? It's a good thing to, to, to notice. 
So now let's solve for y real quick. So to write as a y uh, slope intercept form, y got to be by itself on one side. So we got to move the negative x over. So y is still y equals sign in the middle. When the negative x come over to the right side, I'm going to put it right behind the equal sign. So that become positive x. Negative 8 is still negative 8. So y equal to mx plus b. My m is actually 1. So my slope, you know, is actually 1. 1 means 1 over 1. The y-intercept is actually going to be 0, 8. All right. I just write this on the side for a little bit extra. But my equation of the line in slope-intercept form will be y equal to x minus 8. So if you ever seen boxes look like this, if you ever seen on the homework it says something like this, where you got to enter something in the box, so here you will have to enter 1 in front of the x, and for the b part, you just have to enter negative 8. All right? All right, write the following equation in slope-intercept form. 6, 13, 15 uh, is not divisible by any number other than 1. So let's just solve for y real quick. My variable term y is positive. Let it stay. So let's move the 6x over to put it right behind the equal sign. So I should get 13y equals positive 6 come to the right side, become negative 6x. Negative 15 still negative 15. To get y by itself, divide every term by 13. So my equation in slope-intercept form is negative 6 over 13x minus 15 over 13. So the negative 6 over 13 is my slope, my y-intercept, 0, comma, negative 15 over 13. All right. So now this example one goes to determine the slope and the y-intercept. So in order to find the slope and the y-intercept of an equation of the line is by write them in slope-intercept form. Okay? Because a slope-intercept form offers the slope and the y-intercept. So in step number, two, step number two, all the two here want us to graph. So the third method of graphing, which is one of the fastest way to graph, is using the slope and the y-intercept to graph. So let me show you how that's done. All right, check this out. You see um, in the standard form, I got negative 5, 10, negative 50. So all three terms are divisible by 5. So let's go ahead and do that. So then I get negative x plus 2y equal to negative 10. All right, I want to write them in slope-intercept form, which says y equals, so got to solve for y. My variable term is positive, let us stay, move the negative x over. So that should be 2y equal to positive x, still negative 10. Divide every term by 2. So my y is not going to equal to x over 2, it's the same thing as a half x minus 5. So my slope m is y equal mx plus b. m is 1 half. My y-intercept got to be 0 comma negative 5. Okay, y-intercept is a point on the line. So we are, so most of the time when, when I write y-intercept, I write them in, uh, write them as a coordinates, x and y value. So when it comes to graphing though, Using slope and the y-intercept, what 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 I normally ask students to do is plot the y-intercept first. So in our case, it is zero negative five. So starting at the origin, zero negative five simply means go down five, right? So so once you are at the y-intercept, okay. To go to the next point on the line, use your slope. Your slope m, 1 over 2, being positive means the top number tells you to go up 1. The bottom number means go to the right 2. Okay? So, if I will go up 1, let me put a little, go up 1 to the right 2, that will be right here. 
So once I got two points, I can connect them with the line. So when we say go up one to the right two, it's referring to up one to the right two from the point we just plotted. Not from the origin, but from the point we just plotted, which is always a y-intercept. Okay, from the point we just plotted. It's not always going to be the y-intercept because now I can use up one to the right two again. All right, up one to the right two again to plot the next points. Okay, but the, normally the very first point is going to be the y-intercept. All right, I can quickly do this again, up one to the right two again. So this is the next point on the line. So I can quickly plotting lots of points just by follow the slope. All right, I'm going to put the following point in red. What happened if I ever need to backtrack using, you know, backtrack, find the point right before the y-intercept. So backtrack will be down one to the left two. Down one to the left two. So this must be the point before reaching the y-intercept. So if I, I can go again, down one to the left two. Down one to the left two. Okay. So now I just got a bunch of points right here. I can connect them with the line. All right. So that's how you do it by hand. Okay. Con that's how we can quickly figure out this many coordinates at one time. All right. So that's why this is the quickest way to... to to do graphing using the slope and the y-intercept. Now, from time to time, though, um, from time to time, we might also need this technique. If the y-intercept or if the very first point, let's say it's at 0, negative 5, and you, we know what the slope is, okay, up 1 to the right 2. Up 1 simply means the y-value need to go up 1. So, y value plus 1 to the right 2 means the x value will plus 2. So if you add it up this way, this will also tell you what the next point is on the line. Negative 5 plus 1 is going to be negative 4. <coughs> so the second point, the next point right after the y-intercept got to be to the right 2 down 4, which is right here. Okay, so this is another way you can figure out what the next point is on the line using your slope. All right, so um, the slope intercept form offer us, okay, a quick way to graph by finding the slope in the y-intercept and quickly plotting two points. All right, so let me go ahead and do uh, the next objective. So this fourth objective is using the slope-intercept form to write the equation of the line. Okay. Um, let me just copy and paste it real quick on here. Use the slope-intercept form. Okay to write the actual equation of the line. Kind of strange idea because, because the previous examples, I was given equation of the line, okay? Then I got to find the slope and the y-intercept. Now we just kind of do this a little bit uh, backwards. If I would know my slope, okay, and my y-intercept, then I can write out the equation of the line. So make sure you understand this 0, 3 is the y-intercept. Y-intercept means you know the y-value when the x is equal to 0. So think about the slope-intercept form. y equal to mx plus b. So the m, the 3 fifth, got to go where the m is. The b is the y-value of the y-intercept. So that means my equation of the line got to be y equal to 3 over 5x plus 3. So that must be the equation of the line. All right. Determine the graph of the line with a given y and a 7 slope. So again, I'm going to plot my y and a set first. Remember now, I just need two points. Slope and a set form give me the y and a set, which give me one point already. So 0, 3, just go up 3. All right, slope. 
up three to the right five from the point I just plotted. From the point I just plotted. So let's go back, not from the origin, but from the point I just plotted. Up three, one, two, three, to the right five. So that'll be about right here. So the next point on the line is five comma six. This has got to be five comma six. So once I got two points, I can connect them with the line. All right. So I've been showing y'all three different ways to graph the equation of the line. Um, the reason why I'm 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 kind of skip over on how to use the calculator to graph the equation of the line is because once we are able because the graphing calculator require us to enter the equation of the line as in slope intercept form so once you solved it already just by looking at the slope and the y intercept we can already plot it quicker than we can um, we can actually enter this in the calculator all right so so this is not you know it's not that purpose is skipping it it's just sometimes learning how to do this by hand just um just quicker okay it's just quicker than putting you know put in a calculator all right let's try another example okay all right find the equation sh um, of the line shown enter the answer in slope intercept form so I have to look at this okay in order to write out the equation of the line so remember now what does the equation of the line require technically it requires a slope and a point all right you require a slope and a point now that point can be the y-intercept or it can be any other point on the line so the trick to do this particular problem is be able to identify two whole number, two integer points. I see the line cross over here at the origin, so that can be one of my points. So you just got to look very closely, see what the next one is. This is going up the hill. I see one right here. All right, so to go from this point down here to this one up here, you know the slope, you know the line is going up the hill, so my slope is going to be positive. So I'll go from this point to that point. I need to go up one, two, three, four, five to the right two. So my slope is five over two. All right. And it just turns out this point, this very first point is the where the or is located at the origin. And the origin is where the x and y axis intersect. And that's this is the only point where the x intersect is going to be the same as the y-intercept, which is actually located at the origin. At the origin, x-intercept is the same as the y-intercept. So what's the y-value of my y-intercept? My y-value is 0. So my slope-intercept form, y equal to 5 over 2 is my m, x plus b. B turns out to be the zero, Y value of the Y intercept. Or we can simply say this is just Y equal to 5 over 2X without writing the plus zero. All right. So um, in module 11.4, we will do more about how to find the equation of the line. Okay. Using by learning, you know, by, by first finding the slope and maybe find the Y intercept. And learning how to find the y-intercept. Okay. All right. That will conclude this lecture video on the slope-intercept form and how to graph using the slope and the y-intercept and how to find its equation of the line using the slope and the y-intercept. All right. Thank you for watching.